Yerba mate is a species of the holly family, with the binomial name of Ilex paraguariensis. It is well known as the source of the beverage called mate, Chimara poundo, terrera and other variations, traditionally consumed in subtropical South America, particularly northeastern Argentina, Bolivia, southern and center-western Brazil, Uruguay and Paraguay. It was first used and cultivated by the Guarana people and in some Tupa communities in southern Brazil, prior to the European colonization. It was scientifically classified by the Swiss botanist Moses Bertney, who settled in Paraguay in 1895. Description Yerba mate, Ilex paraguariensis, begins as a shrub and then matures to a tree and can grow up to 15 meters tall. The leaves are evergreen, 7 a euro 11 a cm long and 3 a euro 5.5 a cm wide, with a serrated margin. The leaves are often called yerba or erva, both of which mean herb. They contain caffeine and also contains related xanine alkaloids and are harvested commercially. The flowers are small, greenish white, with four petals. The fruit is a red drupe for a euro 6 mm in diameter. Cultivation the yerba mate plant is grown and processed in South America, specifically in northern Argentina, Paraguay, Uruguay and southern Brazil. Cultivators are known as yerbateros or aveteros. Seeds used to germinate new plants are harvested from January until April only after they have turned dark purple. After harvest, they are submerged in water in order to eliminate floating non-viable seeds and detritus like twigs, leaves, etc. New plants are started between March and May. For plants established in pots, transplanting takes place April through September. Plants with bare roots are transplanted only during the months of June and July. Many of the natural enemies of yerba mate are difficult to control in a plantation setting. Some of these are insects include Gyropsila spagasiniana, an insect that lays eggs in branches, Hedophates betulinus, an insect that weakens the tree and makes it more susceptible to mold and mildew, Paragonia lusca, an insect that eats the leaves, and several species of mites. When yerba mate is harvested, the branches are dried sometimes with a wood fire, imparting a smoky flavor. Then the leaves and sometimes the twigs are broken up. The plant Ilex paraguariensis can vary in strength of the flavor, caffeine levels and other nutrients depending on whether it is a male or female plant. Female plants tend to be milder in flavor, and lower in caffeine. They are also relatively scarce in the areas where yerba mate is planted and cultivated. According to FAO, Brazil is the biggest producer of mate in the world with 434,727 mt followed by Argentina with 300,000 mt and Paraguay with 76,663 mt use as a beverage. The infusion, called mate in Spanish-speaking countries or Camara Poundo in South Brazil, is prepared by steeping dry leaves of the mate plant in hot water rather than in boiling water. It is consumed similar to a tea, more traditionally hot, but sometimes cold. Drinking mate with friends from a shared hollow gourd with a metal straw is a common social practice in Uruguay, Argentina and southern Brazil among people of all ages. Yerba mate is most popular in Uruguay, where people are seen walking on the street carrying the mate, and termo in their arms and where you can find hot water stations to refill the termo while on the road. In Argentina, 5 a kg of yerba mate is consumed each year per every man, woman, and child. While in Uruguay, the largest consumer of mate per capita, 10 a kg of yerba mate is consumed per person per year. The flavor of brewed mate resembles an infusion of vegetables, herbs, and grass, and is reminiscent of some varieties of green tea. Some consider the flavor to be very agreeable, but it is generally bitter if steeped in boiling water. Flavored mate is also sold, in which the mate leaves are blended with other herbs or citrus rind. In Paraguay, Brazil and Argentina, a toasted version of mate, known as mate cocido, car mate or just mate, is sold in tea bags and in a loose leaf form. It is often served sweetened in specialized shops or on the street either hot or iced, pure or with fruit juice or milk. In Argentina and southern Brazil, this is commonly consumed for breakfast or in a cafe copyright for afternoon tea, 
often with a selection of sweet pastries. An iced, sweetened version of toasted mate is sold as an uncarbonated soft drink, with or without fruit flavoring. In Brazil, this cold version of car mate is specially popular in south and southeast regions, and can easily be found in retail stores in the same cooler as soft drinks. Mate batido, which is toasted, has less of a bitter flavor and more of a spicy fragrance. Mate batido becomes creamy when shaken. Mate batido is more popular in the coastal cities of Brazil, as opposed to the far southern states, where it is consumed in the traditional way, and called camara poundo and in Argentina, this is called zamara cubed en. In Paraguay, western Brazil and the Argentine littoral, a mate infusion is also consumed as a cold or iced beverage and called terreira copyright or terreira, and is usually sucked out of a horn cup called gamper with a bombilla. Terreira copyright can be prepared using cold or iced water or using cold or iced fruit juice. The only water version may be too bitter, but the one prepared using fruit juice is sweetened by the juice itself. Medicinal herbs, known as uos, are mixed in a mortar and pestle and added to the water for taste or medicinal reasons. Terreira copyright is most popular in Paraguay, Brazil, and the littoral. In the Rio de la Plata region, people often consume daily servings of mate. It is common for friends to convene to matia several times a week. In cold weather, the beverage is served hot and in warm weather the hot water is often substituted with lemonade, but not in Uruguay. Children often take mate with lemonade or milk, as well. As Europeans often meet at a coffee shop, drinking mate is the impetus for gathering with friends in Argentina, southern Brazil, Paraguay and Uruguay. Sharing mate is ritualistic and has its own set of rules. Usually, one person, the host or whoever brought the mate, prepares the drink and refills the gourd with water. In these three countries, the hot water can be contained in a vacuum flask, termo or garifata copyright RMICA, or in a pava, which only can be done at home. The gourd is passed around, often in a circle, and each person finishes the gourd before giving it back to the brewer. The gourd is passed in a clockwise order. Since mate can be rebrewed many times, the gourd is passed until the water runs out. When persons no longer want to take mate, they say gracias to the brewer when returning the gourd to signify they do not want any more. During the month of August, Paraguayans have a tradition of mixing mate with crushed leaves, stems, and flowers of the plant known as flor de agosto, which contain pyrroles adene alkaloids. Modifying mate in this fashion is potentially toxic, as these alkaloids can cause a rare condition of the liver, veno occlusive disease which produces liver failure due to progressive occlusion of the small venous channels in the liver. In South Africa, mate is not well known, but has been introduced to Stellenbosch by a student who sells it nationally. In the tiny hamlet of Groot Mariko in the northwest province, mate was introduced to the local tourism office by the returning descendants of the Boers, who in 1902 had emigrated to Patagonia in Argentina after losing the Anglo-Boer War. It is also commonly consumed in Lebanon, Syria and some other parts of the Middle East, as well as amongst communities of expatriate from the southern cone. Chemical composition and properties, xanthines, yerba mate contains three xanthines, caffeine, theobromine and theophylline, the main one being caffeine. Caffeine content varies between 0.7% and 1.7% of dry weight. Theobromine content varies from 0.3% to 0.9%. Theophylline is present in small quantities, or can be completely absent. A substance previously called matine is a synonym for caffeine. Preliminary limited studies of mate have shown that the mate xanine cocktail is different from other plants containing caffeine, most significantly in its effects on muscle tissue, as opposed to those on the central nervous system which are similar to those of other natural stimulants. The three xanines present in mate have been shown to have a relaxing effect on smooth muscle tissue, and a stimulating effect on myocardial tissue. Mineral content, yerba mate also contains elements such as potassium, magnesium and manganese. Health effects. As of 2011 there has not been any double-blind, randomized prospective clinical trial of mate drinking with respect to chronic disease. However, 
Yerba does contain polyphenols, which may benefit the immune system, relieve allergies, reduce the risk of diabetes and hypoglycemia in mice, contain compounds that, when extracted from green tea burns more calories, acts as an appetite suppressant and weight loss tool, increases the supply of nutrients and oxygen to the heart, may reduce the risk of heart attacks and strokes, increases mental energy and focus, improves mood, and promotes a deeper sleep, however sleep may be affected in people who are sensitive to caffeine. Lipid metabolism, some non-blinded studies have found mate consumption to be effective in lipid lowering. Studies in animals and humans have observed hypocholesterolemic effects of Ilex paraguariensis aqueous extracts. A single blind controlled trial of 102 volunteers found that after 40 days of drinking 330 milliliters slash day of May tea, people with already healthy cholesterol levels experienced an 8.7% reduction in LDL, and hyperlipidemic individuals experienced an 8.6% reduction in LDL and a 4.4% increase in HDL, on average. Participants already on statin therapy saw a 13.1% reduction in LDL and a 6.2% increase in HDL. The authors thus concluded that drinking yerba mate infusions may reduce the risk for cardiovascular diseases. Cancer Any hot consumption of mate is associated with oral cancer esophageal cancer, cancer of the larynx, and squamous cell of the head and neck. Studies show a correlation between temperature and likelihood of cancer, making it unclear how much a role mate itself plays as a carcinogen. A study by the International Agency for Research on Cancer showed a limited correlation between oral cancer and the drinking of large quantities of hot mate. Smaller quantities were found to increase risk only slightly, though alcohol and tobacco consumption had a synergistic effect on increasing oral, throat, and esophageal cancer. The study notes the possibility that increased risk could be credited to the high temperatures at which the mate is consumed in its most traditional way, the Camara Poundo. The cellular damage caused by thermal stress could lead the esophagus and gastric epithelium to be metaplastic, adapting to the chronic injury. Then, mutations would lead to cellular dysplasia and to cancer. While the IARC study does not specify a specific temperature range for hot mate, it lists general mate drinking separately, but does not possess the data to assess its effect. It also does not address, in comparison, any effect of consumption temperature with regard to coffee or tea. Obesity Few data are available on the effects of yerba mate on weight in humans and further study may be warranted. Mechanism of action, int base activity, Research also shows that mate preparations can alter the concentration of members of the ectonucleoside triphosphate to phosphohydrolase family, resulting in an elevated level of extracellular ATP, ADP, and AMP. This was found with chronic ingestion of an aqueous mate extract, and may lead to a novel mechanism for manipulation of vascular regenerative factors, that is, treating heart disease. Antioxidants in an investigation of mate antioxidant activity, there was a correlation found between content of caffeinol derivatives and antioxidant capacity. Amongst a group of Ilex species, Ilex paraguariensis antioxidant activity was the highest. History Mate was first consumed by the indigenous Guarana and also spread in the Tupa people that lived in southern Brazil and Paraguay, and became widespread with the European colonization. In the Spanish colony of Paraguay in the late 16th century, both Spanish settlers and indigenous Guarana s, who had, to some extent, before the Spanish arrival, consumed it. Mate consumption spread in the 17th century to the River Plate and from there to Argentina, Chile, Bolivia and Peru. This widespread consumption turned it into Paraguay's main commodity above other wares, such as tobacco, and indigenous people's labor was used to harvest wild stands. In the mid-17th century, Jesuits managed to domesticate the plant and establish plantations in their Indian reductions in missions, Argentina, sparking severe competition with the Paraguayan harvesters of wild stands. After their expulsion in the 1770s, their plantations fell into decay, as did their domestication secrets. The industry continued to be of prime importance for the Paraguayan economy after independence, 
but development and benefit of the Paraguayan state halted after the War of the Triple Alliance that devastated the country both economically and demographically. Some regions with made plantations in Paraguay became Argentinian territory. Brazil then became the largest producer of mate. In Brazilian and Argentine projects in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, the plant was domesticated once again, opening the way for plantation systems. When Brazilian entrepreneurs turned their attention to coffee in the 1930s, Argentina, which had long been the prime consumer, took over as the largest producer, resurrecting the economy in Missions Province, where the Jesuits had once had most of their plantations. For years, the status of largest producer shifted between Brazil and Argentina. Now, Brazil is the largest producer, with 53%, followed by Argentina, 37% and Paraguay, 10%. In the city of Campo Largo, state of Parana, Brazil, there is a mate historic park, funded by that state's government, to educate people on the sustainable harvesting methods needed to maintain the integrity and vitality of the oldest wild forests of mate in the world. As of June 2014, however, the park is closed to public visitation. Nomenclature the name given to the plant in Guarana, language of the indigenous people who first cultivated and enjoyed mate, is care, which has the same meaning as herb. Colmgonha, in Portuguese, is derived from the Tupi expression, meaning something like, what keeps us alive, but a term rarely used nowadays. Mate is from the Quequua Marti, a word that means container for a drink, infusion of an herb, as well as good. The word mate is used in both. Portuguese and Spanish languages. The pronunciation of yerba mate in Spanish is e e a r squared i a currency e mar currency d. The accent on the word is on the first syllable, not the second, as might be implied by the variant spelling mata copyright. The word hierba is Spanish for herb. Yerba is a variant spelling of it, which was quite common in Argentina. Yerba mate, therefore, originally translated literally as the gourd herb. That is the herb one drinks from a good. The Portuguese name is either Erva Mate, E A V E Mar Currency T E Florinai, the most used term, or rarely Comgon Ha, Car Micron E equal or more than Micron E I Florin E, from Old Tupi Car Micron Gar Micron I, which means, what sustains the being. It is also used to prepare the drinks Camara Poundo, Terreira Copyright or Car Mate. While the Car Mate is made with the toasted leaves, the other drinks are made with green leaves, and are very popular in the south of the country in Mato Grosso. Most people colloquially address both the plant and the beverage simply by the word mate. Both the spellings mate and mata copyright are used in English, but the latter spelling is never used in either Spanish or Portuguese. In Spanish, mata copyright means I killed as opposed to good. There are no variation of spellings in Spanish. The addition of the acute accent over the final e was likely added as a hypercorrection, indicating that the word and its pronunciation are distinct from the common English word mate. According to both Spanish and Portuguese spelling rules, an acute accent in that position shifts the tonic syllable to the last one, whereas in both languages the word is pronounced with the first syllable as the tonic one. Use as a health food. Mate is consumed as a health food. Packages of yerba mate are available in health food stores and are frequently stocked in the large supermarkets of Europe, Australia and the United States. By 2013, Asian interest in the drink had seen significant growth and led to significant export trade. See also, Black Drink, Club Mate, Matt Lee Poundo, Ilex Guaruza a euro known as Guaruza, another caffeine-containing holly species of the Ilex genus native to the Ecuadorian Amazon rainforest. Cudding a Euro Ilex Cudential, Mativa, Nativa, Ilex Vomitoria a Euro a caffeine-containing holly species of the Ilex genus, from North America. References Footnotes Bibliography, La Cubed Pez, Adalberto. The Economics of Yerba Mate in 17th Century South America in Agricultural History. Agricultural History Society 1974